Hello? It's funny, no? Mr. Smith. She's made contact. Hi, Bunny. Sarah, it's your sister. She's awake. Well, sort of. No. Sarah, I'm working. Ah, uh, get over yourself, Victor, will you? It, it's Pandora. She apparently just woke up. Uh -huh. uh, Bernie, uh, just called to say she wants to talk to us all. As you are all aware, Mrs. Pandora Smith has been paralyzed for the past year. Completely tied to life support. Her body has lost all connection with her mind. Yet, her brain functions miraculously remained active. With your consent, a few months ago, we included Pandora in one of our cutting-edge research programs in which we surgically placed a wireless chip in her brain. The theory was that if Pandora's mind could somehow recognize the chip, then it could also possibly find a way to connect online through it. Well, I am extremely thrilled to announce today. We have made history. We are now in direct contact with Mrs. Pandora Smith's mind. Questions? Anyone? How long, doctor, does she have? We don't really know. Her vital signs are quickly deteriorating. She thinks it's close. I think it is close. So let's not lose any more time, shall we? Bernie, Sarah, Victor. Are you here? Yes, dear. I don't have to type. Um, delete. <sighs> Thank you all for coming on such short notice. I don't know how much longer I have, being that I've been stuck in my mind for so long. I've had quite a bit of time to think about what I'd like to say if I ever got the chance. Of course, I never thought I'd get the chance. So I told Dr. Jones to lock the door. As things I'm about to say might cause some chaos. Sarah, remember the time I went to summer camp for three months when I was 18? And when I got home, I barely spoke. And when I finally did, I told you about a boy called Victor. That was a long time ago. That Victor, the very same Victor you introduced as your fiance a few years after, then became your husband and my brother-in-law. What, for 25 years now? Victor, my husband, Victor. What nonsense is this? Bernie. Oh, Bernie. You were always there. Look, you're still here. But let's be honest. 
We were never in love, you and me. Our marriage was based in fear. Fear of being alone. And after so many years together, fear of letting go. And the worst part was we pretended that our feelings, our real feelings, did not matter at all. Bernie. Really? Was it worth wasting a life? Wasting a life? Don't you dare, Mr. Smith. Don't you dare. Sorry, I ran away. I just couldn't bear it. I was pregnant. With your baby. With our baby. I should have told you. I should never have not let her be born. I'm even more sorry for letting you marry my sister. And I'm the most sorry for not telling you that I love you. Because I do. I love you. Is this true, Victor? You guys met at that summer camp. I never, never understood why she disappeared. Pandora was pregnant in an abortion with your child. How is it that you never talked about all of this with me? Sorry, this is something of a shock to me too. Well, how the hell is it possible that you guys never even spoke about this? Did you guys um, ever get together during our marriage? No, of course not. Well, your poor, lovely wife, Victor, how could she? Oh, come on, buddy. She was never in love with me in the first place. Sarah, were you ever in love with me? Hey, what kind of question is that? We're married, aren't we? See? You took a vow, Victor. We took vows! Oh, bugger off, Bernie. Wait. You're not in love with her, are you? Come on, you know the answer to that, Sarah. Nah, nah, nah. I want to. I want to hear you say it. I want to hear you say it. I want to hear you. I want to hear you. You want to hear you say it. Yes, I want to hear you. 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 Always known it. Who does that to a sister? I'm a monster. I am so sorry.
I knew it too, Pan. I knew it when I asked you to marry me. I knew it every day. You were right. I wasn't prepared to be alone. I was scared. I still am.